Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the uh, basic head to chest takedown from the standing position. Uh, this is basically the first takedown that we teach you uh, in Jiu Jitsu, okay? But what's probably as equal as important as a takedown itself, even possibly more important, is getting to a safe clinch position, right? Because a lot of the times we don't just start in a safe position here. You know, if, if this is like an altercation that's happening on the street <coughs> and he's ready to take punches, you know, take swings at me here, we're starting here, okay? Um, and it's very important when we talk about, you know, jiu-jitsu as a martial art, uh, jiu-jitsu in a self-defense scenario, we always gotta keep in mind distance management, okay? Um, when we talk distance management, I never wanna be in this middle ground, unless you have some sort of striking background and feel com uh, comfortable. Um, most people in jiu-jitsu, or if you just train purely jiu-jitsu, uh, don't have that background. So we never want to stay here because this is where he can develop a lot of torque and power into his punches, okay? I either want to be all the way in, so if you were to strike me, it's, it's going to be more annoying than anything. It's not actually going to really hurt. So I either want to be all the way in or I'm going to be all the way out. In fact, a lot of times we just teach you to be two arm lengths away here, all right? That way he can't hurt me from this distance. So if you were to take a step towards me, I have to maintain that distance and step back, okay? But let's just say, you know, I'm ready to make my move in, okay? I've been maintaining the distance, stepping back as he steps forward. And when he's ready to throw that punch, that's when I surprise him and I look to close that gap and get him super tight, okay? So there's a couple different ways that you can close this distance. Um, traditionally, the way that it's shown, shown is as he throws that punch, I bring both hands to the bicep, get my head to his chest, and then I circle around and get my clinch position here, okay? That's certainly acceptable. Not my personal favorite way to close that distance, because uh, I feel like a lot of the times if people are in the heat of the moment, they want to close that distance, they're going to be like kind of flinching back and going like this, right? And now you can really get hit with a punch, or as you can see, I can get you know, knee to the groin, whatever. So, even in practice, I see that a lot of times two people will come in very tentatively as they practice, they'll just be here, right? And they keep their head way out here where if he's developed, if he's a really strong guy and throws that punch, this is not gonna help it, all right? So, I like the idea of just keeping my hands up and as he throws that punch, I'm getting my head directly to his chest, okay? So, I'm maintaining that distance as he throws that punch, here, okay? I don't want to go for my clinch as I close that gap. I want to make sure I keep my hands up the whole time. Because as he throws that punch, if I come in too early, boom, I'm getting hit right in the noggin. All right, so keep your hands up the whole time. Make sure we're not covering our face. All right, we've got to be able to see. Keep our hands up at the side of our head. And as he throws that punch, I keep my hands up and get my head directly to his chest here. So here he goes. Boom. Once I'm here, now it's okay to move my hands away from my head and look to establish the safe clinch position, okay? So as far as holding this position, I want to make sure I have a T stance. Our feet are making a capital letter T. I'm grabbing my own hands like in a gable grip, or we can even grab our own wrist, right, whatever you prefer. I want to pull him in super tight so that we're hip to hip. I don't want my hips far away from him here, all right? Whenever we're in a clinch position, we want to be super tight. Also important, my head positioning. A lot of times people keep, you see people keep their head way up by the shoulder here. That's not really effective to go for takedowns. I want to make sure that my ear is basically right over his heart. So think of it like you're trying to listen to his heartbeat, okay? So to do that, I have to bend my knees, all right? I'm not bending at the waist. I'm bending my knees, keeping my head directly over his heart. I'm pulling him in hip to hip, and I'm in my T stance here, okay? now. To finish our takedown, all I'm going to do is push with my head and bump with my knee at the back of his knee at the same exact time. When I do that uh, correctly, both at the same time, he's gonna topple over, and I can either step over into mount right away, or you can wait until he's all the way down to the ground before we transition to mount. Okay, so we're here. I'll take him down, face with my hands, we always want to end in a good mount position here, okay? So, <coughs> again, always maintaining good distance here. As he throws that punch, head to chest, get to my safe clinch here, 
right? And as you get more experience, let's try it this way, right? As you get more experience, as you take him down, once you know he's falling over, we can actually transition to the mount position before we even hit the ground here, okay? So as I take him down, I step over, to a nice strong mount, okay? Either are acceptable. You just want to end up in the dominant position, okay? One more time all the way through. So that is the basic head-to-chest takedown from a strike one. 